Hi, this is Simon from whataretheyselling.com. Uh, I'm here today to show you something that I think you're going to be really interested in. Uh, we've built this neat little tool called Auction Spy. Um, you know, one common problem that I hear from people who are new to eBay and internet marketing, and also from experienced eBayers and IMers alike, is what products should I be selling? Uh, what's actually going to make me money? Um, what should products should I be creating? What products should I be sourcing? Um, this is true whether you're creating info products, whether you're trying to source something from China, uh, look around garage sales, yard sales, whatever it is, uh, that's always the question people want to know the answer to. Um, so Auction Spy allows you to research and actually come up with that answer. Um, as, as an aside, I just want to add, I think research is one of the most overlooked pieces of the whole eBay and internet marketing puzzle. Um, don't get me wrong, I'm not talking about getting into analysis paralysis or anything like that. Um, I'm talking about actually making progress. Um, but, um, you know, I'm talking about starting on a project, starting with a product, with a really high level of confidence that you're actually going to make money on it. Um, and that can come through research. Um, I think as the, uh, the great Gordon Gecko from the movie Wall Street said, um, you know, I don't like long shots, I bet on sure things. Well, similarly, uh, I like to know before I start anything, before I sell anything, before I create a product, that I'm actually going to make money. So why don't we uh, run through a scenario. I'm just going to jump over to eBay right now. Um, and, you know, I'm going to pick a... Uh, a category here. Uh, why don't we go with used cell phones? I think that's a a hot category. Let's take a look. So, uh, okay, wow, uh, 54,000 items for sale right now. Um, I think that classifies as a hot category. Um, you can see all the various different results uh, down here. Um, Actually, one, one tip I, uh, I'd like to share with everyone. If you click on Customize View here, and then click on Seller Information, you'll note that I've got Seller User ID and Seller Feedback turned on. Uh, that's not by default, I don't believe. I think you have to go in and set that up. Um, I like to do that. And what that shows you, um, as you can see in the main search results here, is it shows you the number of feedback items this seller has received in the last 90 days as well as the positive rating um, so this guy's received 442 uh, all been positive which is nice this guy's received you know a little over 7000 and about 99.3 not bad not too shabby um, and we can see we've got all sorts of sellers here um, everybody from this guy with four and three and this guy with five um, probably out selling their buddies or their spouse's phone while they're not looking. Um, up to some uh, some bigger players. Here we've got a, some of the 7,000s, the 4,000s, got a 16,000, and oh my word, look at this guy. Almost 80,000. Uh, who is he? He's Phone Store USA. Yes, he probably is the, uh, the phone store to the USA with 80,000 pieces of feedback in the last uh, 90 days. So not too shabby there. So why don't we go in and take a look at him. Um, he's a massive seller but I think that will prove interesting. So with no further ado let's bring up uh, Auction Spy. So as you can see uh, it's very simple tool, very easy to use. Um, I'm just going to go through the basic features on it right now. There's a few more bells and whistles but I think this should be enough for people to get going in. We're simply going to enter uh, Phone Store USA, make sure I spell that right. We're simply going to enter the seller ID of the eBay seller we're interested in, in getting some more information on and we'll hit the go button. Um, so depending on the size of the seller this can take anything from two seconds to two or three minutes this guy's a pretty big seller and it's probably going to take uh, a minute or two so I'm just going to pause this while uh, uh, we get the feedback for this guy okay and we're back um, so uh, as you can see this guy is a massive seller um, but very interesting. So in the last 90 days um, he's received feedback on 
total sales of about three hundred and seventy one thousand dollars um, and that's about what's that four thousand three hundred uh, individual sales now something uh, for those of you that are familiar with eBay uh, will know is that not everybody who purchases actually leaves feedback in fact in my experience I think it's fair to say about fifty percent of the people actually leave feedback I know this certainly varies by category but over several years I've sa I found fifty percent to be a pretty good approximation I'm sure there's some higher and some lower but uh, as a ballpark figure it's pretty good so applying that f that fifty percent uh, formula um, looking at the actual total sales we can estimate and looking at the seller second column here that this seller has done about oh my word almost three quarters of a million dollars of sales in the last 90 days so that's for three months so uh, if we multiply that by four we can see what is full year sales assuming he maintains that run rate but that would be about three million bucks of sales on eBay alone not too shabby not too shabby now if we go over here and take a look at this third column it gives us a couple of interesting stats it tells us that all his sales they're actually 476 unique items he's selling um, and that's unique by the item title um, which is certainly very helpful um, and then some really interesting the next one I think is a very interesting number for those of you that are familiar with the Pareto rule or the 80-20 rule uh, something that's very common in nature uh, business and statistics in particular um, we look at the, the top 20 percent of items that he's selling um, and we can actually see that he's done about 270 grand's worth just from the top 20 items um, and that's you know when you look at his total sales of 370 he's done almost 270 of those you see the vast majority come from a small amount um, and that's what these items in green here on the result summary are if I just scroll down you can see all the green ones and then you know that's the top 20 percent and then you start getting down into the long tail um, not that there's not money in the long tail but I think it's a different business model um, than at least what we're going after here he's doing a lot of onesies and twosies um, certainly not making up volume certainly not getting any of the benefits of those kind of stuff but when you come up here you can see he's really starting to crank it out um, interestingly these you know uh, these A eight six sevens whatever these type of Samsung phones are if you look what's that one two three four five first six of them um, are his top sellers um, so they seem to be a uh, very hot item right now if you could source a few hundred of those you could bang out a few thousand bucks I've no doubt about it um, and then as you click on these items if you look down the bottom here let me just move that up so everybody can see if you look down the bottom you can see it changes and you can actually see all the individual pieces of feedback for that item so in this case it's the LG Shine um, and if we look at the bottom you can see all the different pieces of feedback we received for that guy um, so that was what I want oh one more thing if you are a uh, data hound and I know there's some of you out there and you like to munge and crunch the numbers in all sorts of exotic ways we also give you the feature to export all the raw data out in a CSV uh, comma separated format so you can load that into Excel or OpenOffice or whatever your your tool of choice is um, anyway that was what I wanted to show you um, you know, we use this tool incessantly in the office we can go into practically any brand new niche and uh, any brand new category on eBay and in 30 minutes we can take it apart and understand where the money is um, uh, it's a very very powerful business model I don't like to reinvent the wheel I like to see what's already selling I like to see what's making money um, and go in and then uh, replicate that improve upon it and make even more money um, and you can do that in physical products you can do that in info products you can do that in software you can do that in used products whatever market you're in on eBay if you're passionate about making money in that particular niche you need this tool so that you can uh, find out what are the hottest items you should be selling anyway uh, I'd like to say thanks for watching uh, this is Simon from whatarethelling.com